Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Ruby. This is Volume 5, Chapter 6, Known by Its Song. Last we left off, um, we had a bit of, a lot of heart-to-hearts. Um, you know, Oscar is kind of questioning, like, you know, he's just a kid. He's like, why am I doing all this shit? Um, oh, I just rewatched the episode. <laughs> um, Ilya and those brothers um, from the White Fang. And, you know, Adam, it's just all this stuff with White Fang. Blake and um, uh, Sun were also just talking about sort of Adam and what the, their sort of game plan, trying to recruit me before this war against, um, you know, protecting Mistral and Haven. Um, so we'll see where we go here. We haven't, see, well, we saw Yang and Weiss the last episode before that. Um, so, yeah, people are starting to get together more, which is awesome. You know, people are getting reunited, so... Um, we'll just see where we go this time. Is this crow? Looks like him. Yep. Okay. Regular or the special? I'm actually looking for someone. Goes by the name Shiro Wan. Ever heard of him? Shiro Wan. I heard he's a regular around here. Who's asking? Hey, I'm not some cop, if that's what you mean. I need Shiro for a gig. We go way back. Way back, huh? He's gonna throw the knife at you. So, he's a friend of yours. <laughs> Obviously. Mm, yeah, I'd say so. He's a pretty alright guy. Well... Is this dude Shiro? In that case... <laughs> Oh. You tell that jerk that he better not show his ugly face in here until he pays me the lien he owes me. Uh, did I say friend? <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I meant acquaintance. <laughs> really, we're just colleagues. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thanks for your time, buddy. I'll just be taking off now. <laughs> They're acting all scary. You could take that shopkeep. Uh, great start. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> My dude. <sighs> He's trying to get his game back together to like... Uh... Oh, I thought this was all the same street corner. Like, what the heck? Trying to find people to help defend Haven, I'm assuming. Heather Shields. The question is are all these people just gone, or is it that they're associating with Crow and, you know, his bad luck? Like. So they don't want to associate with oh, him anymore, uh, kind of thing. Uh, hey there, uh, I'm looking for Heather. Look, pal, I've had a rough day. Do you know where she is or not? Daddy? What the heck? Does he know where Mommy is? Ooh. I, uh... <laughs> I'm sorry to bother you. Quit the drinky drink, man. Oh, so all the huntsmen in the kingdom are all on missions, but they're all away from, you know. So they're not his friends, they're just, <laughs> he's just looking at the bounty board to try and find people. How convenient that they're all gone. Put it together, Crow. Why would they all be gone right now? Y 
You got a lot of nerve showing up back here, unless you brought that idiot with you. How much did Shiro owe you? Well, I'd say about 16,000 liat. Jeez. My boy, how you got that much money? <laughs> Wait, what? Man, you must be in some serious trouble with him if you're paying me off. His name is clear. Yeah. Is he trying to like... That idiot. Is he trying to get him on his side now or what? Yeah. Oh, Shiro's... Is, is he dead? Is that why? I probably missed it. I think Shiro died. I know some of them said terminated, so... You can wait outside. Thank you. What kind of style is that? <laughs> so, what's the truth? One jean leg pulled all the way up. <laughs> no, it's better when it's hot. You know, you're really obnoxious. Ooh. <laughs> the truth is that truth is hard to come by. A story of victory for one person is a story of defeat for someone else. By now, your uncle has surely told Ruby and her friends plenty of stories. Well, he's never given me a reason to doubt him before. That doesn't mean those reasons don't exist. Get to it, woman. You know, you and your teammates might as well be the poster children for the Huntsman Academies. Your motives vary, but you all enrolled to try and make the world a better place. It's adorable. It's what Huntsmen and Huntresses do. Not all of them. Some people are just in it for the money and the fame, but there's even more that are just looking to grow stronger. Your Uncle Crow and I didn't attend Beacon to become Huntsmen. We did it to learn how to kill Huntsmen. Hmm. Daddy and Uncle left that part out, hmm? Aside from the Grim, Huntsmen were the only ones capable of ruining our raids and hunting us down. Our tribe needed a counterforce. And Crow and I were the perfect age. The entrance exams were child's play compared to what we'd already been through. We were good. So good that we caught the attention of Beacon's very own headmaster, Professor Osborne. Even after we were put on a team, I could tell he was keeping his eye on us. Back then, I thought it was because he knew. But it was Team Stark he was interested in. What do you mean by that? Constant attention, extra training missions, turning a blind eye whenever we happened to break the rules and get into more trouble than we should have. Sound familiar? <laughs> What's your point? How much do you know about Professor Osborn? About his past? Girl, just start talking. Stop asking prodigy, questions. One of the youngest headmasters to be appointed to a school. Because that's how he planned it. Because the man you know as Osborn designed those schools and has followers inside every academy yeah. on Remnant that are loyal to him She's and no one else. has been around for millennia, so... That doesn't make any sense. How could he have... No, why would someone even do that? Because old man Oz has a great and terrible secret. One that could spread fear across the world. One that he eventually entrusted to our team. And once I knew, there was no going back. I needed to know more. But with every new discovery I made, the more horrifying the world became. Okay, then tell us. What's the big secret? What's so crazy that the rest of us don't know? Yeah, right the now it just sounds Grimm like she's a coward. Have like, a master named Salem. She can't be stopped. She's just gonna she go. She can't be reasoned with, and she will not rest until humanity crumbles at her. Then feet. help defeat her instead of doing your own little side gig. What? You know, you two haven't even touched your tea. Why should we believe any of this? Now you're catching on. So far, you've done nothing but accept what others tell you. But you need to question everything. Otherwise, you'll end up just as blind as Crow. I 
find your fool of a father. Ooh. Coral. Don't you dare talk about my family like that! You need to calm down. Yang, Girl. please! Get out of here. Listen to your friend, Yang. Your teammates never let you down before. You don't know the first thing about my teammates! About me! You were never there! You left us! Why? I know more than you realize. Not just about you, and not just what I've been told, but things I've seen with my own eyes. I know the Grimm have a leader. I know people who can come back from the dead. I know that magic is real. And I can prove it. You said Ty told you all about my semblance. Well, I doubt he ever told you, but Oz did to my brother and me. Oh, he made them into the birds? Go see for yourself. Oh my god. Getting real annoying here. Mom? Yang, are you okay? I'll be fine once we could get her to take us to Ruby. It's okay if you're not okay. You didn't believe what she said, right? I... Of course not. Well, not all of it. It was crazy. We have dust, semblances, but, I mean, there's no such thing as magic. See? Look, there she is. A raven? I've seen that bird before. Maybe it belongs to your mom? It is your mom. did you do that? Well, I could explain it to you. Or, I could or you me. could ask your uncle. Oh. Yeah. If you're letting us go? I'm giving you a choice. Go. Stay here with me, and no. I'll answer all of your questions no. and more. Go to Crow. Crow's with Ruby. We can go. have a fresh start. Or... You can go back to Crow and join Ozpin's impossible war against Salem. And meet the same fate as so many others. You just but sound can like you really go still. back to trusting someone that's kept so much from you? You weren't there. You don't get a right to be like... Ugh. All I care about is making sure my sister is safe. Right. She's not going to abandon her family like you did. Ugh. Bye, bitch. Hope to never see you again. Yeah. If you side with your uncle, I may not be as kind the next time we meet. This was kind. You weren't kind this time either. Right. <laughs> I know. This isn't right. I get one or two of them, but all, all of them. them? Yeah. Put it together, crow. Oop. Raven. Oh. <laughs> all right. The first patch is just about done. Awesome. Now we just need crow, and we'll be all it's set. Cooking, mama. I really think he's going to bring that many people. This is a lot of food. <laughs> you don't uh, know. I don't know, but it sounds like we can use all the help we can get. I'm back. Be right there! You're going to overcook that. No, I'm not. Shut up! Hey, uh, Ruby. I'm coming! Girl. Bye. 
Fine, you take over. So, we didn't know how many people were coming, so we just cooked all of it. <gasps> <laughs> This. <laughs> this isn't even one of the most emotional things I've seen and tearing up. <laughs> God, I'm so tired. <laughs> this literally is not even I've seen more emotional shit than this. It's it's still nice though. I've I'm I've been waiting for this stream again. And Weiss, yeah. They just need Blake. Yeah. Yeah, do you have family? <laughs> I'm a weak bitch. <laughs> that wasn't even that emotional. <laughs> I was tearing up. Um, but yeah, there was a lot of... Um, it was a lot of reiterating what we already knew, but to different characters. You know, um, Weiss and Yang didn't know about all this stuff with Crow um, and Ozpin. Um, you know, and it, we're we're kind of just seeing a different perspective on the tales that we've been told so far. Um, oh, what was I gonna say? Uh, yeah, Raven's just trash. Like, you know, we were, I was kind of expecting her to be able to transform just like Crow can. Um, you know, they, I don't know if they're twins or they're siblings, but, you know, obviously they're so related um, with their similar names and their outfits and stuff. It was just a matter of time before we could learn, like, okay, if Crow can turn to a crow, then Raven probably could turn to a raven. But it's interesting that Oz did that. I wonder why, um, you know, was it a... Uh, was it something that they signed up for or was it sort of an experiment gone wrong kind of thing um, you know I, I think last volume um, when Salem was mentioning something about the eye the other eye has been blinded or something um, in the comments you guys are saying that it was um, it had to do with Crow and Raven because they're based on some myth with Odin so Oz would be Odin and then he had like two birds or some some sort of birds that were his scouts um, which were obviously in here um, crow and raven and so um, you know he's obviously interested in team stark so it seems like they're kind of caught up in his crusade as well um, so those two were the scouts um, maybe some are in tai yang also um, I, I don't know if it's tai yang or tai i'm just going to call him tai just to be safe uh, but yeah, I wonder if those uh, Summer and Ty were also scouts um, in a in a similar vein. If they can tra if they could transform, or was it just specifically for Crow and Raven? And you know, Summer and Ty had different missions. Um, uh, what else happened? There's something. Uh, Crow going around um, trying to find huntsmen for their mission. Um, you know, obviously a lot of them, all of them are away because um, Professor Lionheart is sending them on missions to get them out of the city so that it's an easy takeover. Um, uh, but I, with that, that scene with the barkeep, um, I th think it's because the dude he was looking for died. Um, he's just trying to pay the tab off or something, or it's like an apology. Um, but yeah, um, I just think that was a really... I think that's the most forward-moving motion we've had um, this episode. Um, besides, obviously, the reuniting of most of Team Ruby. We're just missing Blake, like I said, but she'll be there soon enough, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Um, because, you know, she's got her own thing in Menagerie right now with Sun. I'm not too worried about her um, being in danger because she is with Sun. So I'm like, okay, she's got somebody out with her back at least, you know. Um, but before, before everyone was just kind of by themselves, but at least she has her family, she has sons, so I'm feeling pretty confident with her. Um, and 
uh, again, I, th I think, I mean, that has to be the Spring Maiden, right? That, that's with uh, Raven. Um, you know, the way she, she always keeps butting in, like she's lieutenant and such, and just the cocky nature she has, like, it's obviously she has some sort of power that we're not aware of. And so the only thing that can make sense for me is if she's the Spring Maiden, because um, we know she's in Raven's camp anyways. So um, I just want confirmation already. Just like... <laughs> Tell us she's the Spring Maiden. I, I mean, I know a couple episodes ago we had, like, lightning randomly strike, so um, it's kind of inferred, but I just want, like, a, a, a you know, a solid, like, yes, she's the Spring Maiden. Um, <laughs> Yadangus is, go get her. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Is there something redeeming about Raven that I'm missing, or is this just kind of her character? Because... I, I was waiting, you know, I was I, I was waiting a fair bit to give her a chance to be like, okay, maybe she will turn out to be better, but no, she's just trash mom, you know, um, <laughs> she's just, she's just like, abandons her child, you know, after she gets pulled into all this stuff with Oz, she's like, yeah, okay, I'm gonna go over here in the middle of the woods and hide for the rest of my life, it's like, um, okay, you know, I, I kind of, I see that she is trying to help in her own way because she is gathering the maidens in some way. Um, well, at least she has spring, you know, so she's trying to, like, stop, you know. She's doing her own kind of way of protecting the world, but, like, the best way, I think, would be to just get rid of the problem. You know, right now you're pr kind of putting a band-aid on things by, you know, I'm going to put the key over here, but it's like, one day... You know, given enough time, she'll have enough power, Salem will have enough power to take the key from you. So, you should just try and weaken her power, you know, take out her lieutenant, try and take out Salem before she even gets all this power to try and take on your bandit tribe. So, I don't know. I just disagree with her her methods, but I'm glad that Yang and Weiss are back with Crow. Um, you know, they, they're, I'm okay with them questioning sort of the morality and whatnot of what's going on but you know at least she's with at least they're with friendly faces and they can kind of get more of the full picture and make their own educated guesses you know instead of being manipulated by her mom because yeah i'm glad that yang wasn't like conflicted about being with her mom because like you know there was like when she first arrived she kind of like wanted to hear her out but like she's like yeah my mom's crap <laughs> i didn't go to my actual family which i'm glad for um but yeah, post your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think of this volume or this chapter? Um, and did I miss anything? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you in the next video.